To my on-the-go content creators, this is a thing of the past. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> Much better! Editing on the go just became a whole lot easier. This is DIY in 5. Hello everyone and welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and today we are going to go over how you can edit 4K video on the go without lugging your entire editing suite wherever your travels may take you. Whether you're a professional editor, budding content creator, or just want to edit that video for grandma's birthday while you're away from home, I'm about to make your life a lot easier. If you find the tips in this video useful, please give it a like and share it with your friends, and then subscribe so you don't miss out on any more tech tips. During CES 2020, Intel showed off a brand new Nook 9 modular computing platform in two models, the Extreme and the Pro, codenamed Ghost Canyon and Quartz Canyon, respectively. Nook is an acronym for Next Unit of Computing, and the Nook platform packs a ton of power in a very portable package. It's normally targeted at gamers with its scullery and edgy design, but would be great for creators as well. The Nook 9 is a beast of a system that would make an incredible portable 4K content creation machine for a few reasons. One, it's got tons of connectivity options. Two Thunderbolt 3 ports, Intel Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, and two gigabit LAN ports, four USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, HDMI 2.0, and even a UHS-2 card reader on the Extreme Kit. Two, the Nook 9 is the first Intel Nook to support desktop discrete graphics, up to eight inches long, thanks to a PCIe X16 slot. Third, it's pretty compact, about 9.4 by 8.5 by 3.8 inches, so it can literally fit right in your bag. It's not as small as some previous form factors, but it's not held back by a size constraint either. The Nook 9 walks a fine line between portability and performance. As with most Nooks, the Nook 9s will come with a processor, a 9th Gen i5 through i9 for the Extreme Kit, and a 9th Gen i7 or a Xeon E2286M option for the Pro. And a power supply, but leave the rest of the dirty work to you. You can feel free to choose the <coughs> Kingston RAM, Kingston, NVMe, SSD storage, and a GPU. Sorry, I must have had something stuck in my throat there. Uh, then you're good to go. Honestly, the customizability and upgradability are some of the best features about the new Nooks. That way, they can keep up with you and the type of content that you create. Pricing will obviously depend on the components that you want in your build. So there we have it. Would you see yourself traveling with a Nook 9 for your on-the-go Adobe Premiere needs? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're here, feel free to check out some of these other editing build videos that we've put together. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and you've been watching DIY in 5. See you soon.